Let me take it a little further. Let's imagine that I show up late and I run up here on the platform. And, and the, every, all the leaders are angry with me. I said, Brother Paul, don't you appreciate the fact you're giving the opportunity to speak here and you come late? And I said, Brothers, you have to forgive me. Well, why? Well, I, I was out here on the highway and I was driving and I had a flat tire and, and I got out to change the tire. And when I was changing the tire, the lug nut fell off. And I wasn't paying attention that I was on the highway and I ran out and I grabbed the lug nut. And as soon as I picked it up in the middle of the highway, I stood up and there was a 30 ton logging truck going 120 miles an hour, about 10 yards in front of me. And it ran me over. And that's why I'm late. Now, there would only be two logical. I know no one studies logic anymore, but there would only be two logical conclusions. One, I'm a liar. Or two, I'm a madman. You would say, Brother Paul, it's absolutely absurd. It is impossible, Brother Paul, to have an encounter with something as large as a logging truck and not be changed. And then my question would be to you, what is larger, a logging truck or God? How is it that so many people today profess to have had an encounter with Jesus Christ and yet they are not permanently changed? 